It's certainly, so I'm just doing a quick video. Um, January 10th of this year uh, is when someone went into my desk at work and they vandalized my trimeter. So I was able to fix it. So the following week, about a week later, um, I had that my manager or so, but um, they were trying to find out the process. So about a week later, I went filed a report with a security officer. It is now four months later and he hasn't given me the report. I have asked for it on email. I have approached him in person and asked him and I'm getting the rung around. Now what happened is very interesting. It happened to me in January. A month before, a girl that I know, she sits about one, two, three, four, about eight cubicles away from me. At around 5.30 in the evening, which is when everyone leaves, we have people that leave in shifts like 5.15, 5.30, 5.45. I'm a 5.45. Well... She had her purse and her car keys on top of her desk. The office was almost empty. Um, she just went over on the other side of the cubicle aisle to give something to her boss and came back and somebody took her entire purse and her keys. And she has those expense, her keys were expensive because her car is um, electric. It's an all electric car. I think she said she paid maybe like maybe four fifty for a key, a replacement, because they had a, since they took her keys, she knew she had to get the rekey. Then, an engineer approached me, and she only sat a couple of cubicles away from me, and about a couple months after my January incident, somebody actually went into her sure and she had she has a good sized purse and um her wallet is in the bottom on purpose now her drawer wasn't locked but they went to the very bottom of her purse and took her entire wallet now this is the aisle that i work on um since then i've moved from that aisle but it's three females and three things happened um, I don't know if they intended to take my wallet the day they broke in, uh, because my drawer was locked. Uh, the other two didn't have their drawers locked, but they are by exit doors. And the thing is, is that no one really put out a warning network. Now, I must, this is in the county, in the county building, where you can only enter with your ID badge through a security guard. If you're a visitor going to the counter, you have to give them your California ID so they can swipe in and make a temporary badge for you that you have to wear, but you only go to the counter from the elevator. You can't go anywhere else except to the restroom. So anyways, um, I thought that was pretty interesting. So tomorrow, I'm going to send them an email. I'm going to copy my bosses and just let them know I would like a copy of the incident report and mention I know about the other two girls. Um, this is the last time I'm going to ask. I said after this I'm going to escalate it because I think waiting four months is long enough. Unless he thinks I'm stuck on stupid next to dumb and, um, you know, he doesn't want to give it to me. So anyways, I just wanted to share that.